afternoon from Great Yarmouth, where we're here at Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach. It's been two years since I was last here, and it's great to be back here yet again. Another childhood park for me, and yeah, one that I really enjoy. I'm here with Danny. You might have just watched our short vlog that we did from Joyland, uh, which I did put in a separate video this time. Joyland is a park which is literally about 15 minutes walk down the road on the seafront here in Great Yarmouth. That's really good. There's about four or five really good kids rides that are worth checking out. You've got the Silurian Tub Twist, uh, a little snails ride. We've got a big snails ride to get on here in a minute. Um, and a few other rides down there, including a little spooky themed family coaster in the hillside, uh, which is really nice. So check out the vlog from that one. Uh, but this is definitely the biggest park, I would say, in the area. And this is one well worth coming to see, isn't it? It's really oh, yeah. nice here and oh, oh, a really good it. park. Yeah, really good feel to it. And the sunshine here in Great Yarmouth today. Of course, we've got the log flume just here. You've now got a Ferris wheel. That wasn't here last time I was here two years ago. And you've had a few other changes here at the park. So we'll uh, make our way down there. Yet again, it's free to enter. It's a paper ride park, this one. Uh, it is about four or five pounds cheaper if you book online. I have booked my wristband online. It's normally about, what, 20, 20 something? 21 pounds. 21 pounds on the gate. Uh, I think it was 16 pounds booked online. So if you know you're definitely going to come, no matter what the weather, then I'd recommend booking online. If you're not sure what the weather's going to do, it might be worth just turning up on the day because it doesn't make loads of difference. Yeah, let's look at this log flume. Whee! <laughs> Bit of a soaker, this one. Uh, but yeah, with this one, it just looks like it should have had some theming. Whether it was going to be done as a phase two or not, I don't know. But you can see certain sections of it have been rebuilt. I mean, was it this winter's gone the one before? I can't uh, remember now. It was uh, earlier on yeah, last year. Yeah, they were taking bits down, weren't they, and replacing it. And you can see where work to replace some of the steel's being done there. Yeah, all, all the supports down the bottom there. Yeah, it would be amazing if it had like some rock work all around it. Hashtag rock work. But yeah, we'll make our way inside. Of course, you've got uh, one of the oldest roller coasters in the UK here as well, the roller coaster, which is one of my favourites. It is brilliant, isn't it? It's a great yeah, ride. Yeah, it's my, one of my favourites. Absolutely love it. With the onboard brake. Yeah, we're going to get Oh, we missed it. With the onboard brakeman on there, so we'll check that out. Yeah, and have a really good day here at uh, Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach. Just gone 2 o'clock, the park's open tonight till 9pm. Um, so what's that, so seven hours worth of rides? You know what I mean, if there's seven hours worth of rides here, probably not, but if you want to do quite a few re-rides and just chill out a bit with it, uh, and definitely plenty of re-rides on roller coaster uh, with its onboard brakeman, I think we'll definitely be able to fill the afternoon. And to be honest, it's a really nice day out. If you come here, do Joyland, come and do this, and then tomorrow I'm going to be at Pleasurewood Hills, which is in Lower Stoft, which isn't that far away at all. Uh, I'll be giving that a go. So it's a couple of days and three parks to check out. As soon as you come into the park, you've got the little wristband collection just round to the left hand side. So we'll make our way in there, get the wristbands, and uh, yeah, get on some rides. Woo! So we've got our wristbands. The first thing to notice is that e evolution, evolution, I don't know, but you know what my pronunciation's like, has been removed. I was not a massive fan of that. And you've got two new rides here in the middle. You've got these little Dumbo flying elephants rides. Got some good tunes on this afternoon here at the Pleasure Beach. Of course, there's roller coaster just over there. Well, it's American style wood all around it. And you got this as well. This looks good. What's it got? Re re what? Revers? Reverse. Time. Reverse time. Oh, God, it's oh, yeah, the R's backwards. I get it now. Part of the theme. Struggle to read that. Reverse time. This looks quite interesting. It was just an action. We'll have to uh, give that a go. Have you been on that yet? Or? No, not no, yet. That. Never done one of these before. Hey, giving us a wave. That looks interesting. So it sort of spins round and yeah, they used to have like a ride similar to that at Butlins, yeah, but it's like a Mexican hat. Yeah, sort of thing. that looks interesting. I'll have to give that a go. So reverse time. That's one of the new rides. Really good. We'll start off with roller coaster, I suppose. It's got to be done, hasn't it? It's always got a nice atmosphere in this park, and hopefully we'll get a bit of night riding. Yeah, be my little wide. You like watching the videos? Yeah, watching yeah. videos. Glad you like it. Have a good day, mate. High five. Yeah. <laughs> First one of the day. Here we go then on hashtag best job ever. There he is, look, sitting in the centre of the train. I 
like how you pass under all the structure here as well. Yeah, really nice. Oh, there we are. There's another train just inside there. Yellow train. Up we go. Really nice views. Great to be back on this again. Just saying, lots of the part looks really nicely maintained. Like there's a lot of paintwork and stuff lately. Beautiful, seeing all the beach and the sea out there. I wonder if the staff on this ever get fed up of uh, riding around on it. Here we go. What a classic. So obviously he's on board to control the braking on this ride. Again, you're really close up to the framework. Look at that for a view. Got to be one of the best views from a coaster in the UK, that. Really nice. Here's your best view. Here we go. Head chopper. And for a really old coaster, it is quite smooth. I mean, I struggle a bit with my knees here on the old leg room, bashing against that. Snails ride down the bottom there as well. A little monorail. Here we go. Whee! That time! Whee! Got a little bit of ejector there. Smile for the camera. Oh. A lot of wood looks as if it's been replaced all up there. Wait! Oh. <laughs> That's the worst thing on this ride, bashing my knees on the front. All the wind turbines out there in the sea. It's actually a really long coaster as well. Onto the Bunny Hills. Hey. Snails! <laughs> she didn't look very impressed on the snails. And there we go as we make our way back around towards the station. One final little bit of fun before we make our way back. Hey. The little bunny hill. And there we go, what a really nice iconic ride here in the UK. Well worth coming out to ride. Like I say, if you've never been to Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach, get yourself down here and give it a go. Uh, well, the GoPro's been ruined there for three minutes and 33 seconds. So yeah, that's how long the ride is. Quite a long coaster, well worth checking out. And you still get off, even though the train's moving. He's off and we're still moving a little bit. Snails and fairy tales. Still crazy to think though that the roller coaster opened in 1932. Oh, such an old ride. And such a classic here in the UK. So this is a bit longer than the snail ride that you've got down at Joyland just down the road. A lot more scenes to look at. Some really nice shots of the coaster. There's Sean the sheep down there. E -I -E -I -O. <laughs> little pirate scenes. Yeah, this is more of a gentle snail ride. The other one's got more dips and stuff in it. It's more intense. But this one, you got more to look at around it. When the coaster comes down this drop, you get a really nice view here as well. Well, we got that last time. Didn't yeah, we? really nice and close here. I mean, it's crazy then that outside of the Merlin Park, you know, help them say to me, look at this, there's no fence there, you could be straight over there, you know. Hey, it's going to miss it. It's going to miss it. Close. Definitely a lot of painting's been done around here, though. As we make our way to the indoor section. Just gone behind us. Small world! Here we go. 
from our recent Asia Mega trip. Where it was it Hong Kong Disneyland, the newest Disney resort, Shanghai Disneyland, and of course Tokyo as well, including Tokyo Disney Sea. Whee! Oh, they're lighting. Third ride we're going on then here at Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach is the monorail. And the main reason for coming on this is for the views of the roller coaster. Look at that, it's just going round as well. Talk about timing. There's the queue line all down there. Not too bad, about a 10 minute queue we waited for that, not too bad at all. Sure we got plenty of rides on it and later on all the lights on it and look at that. See I really like all the wooden cladding all around it, all the American style stuff. Yeah, what, what, what did it used to look like? It was like the Swiss Alps. Oh okay, all around it. Yeah, a bit like Rushtabarn over at uh, Tivoli in Copenhagen, that's all that sort of theming. We're gonna get another nice shot of it coming around here. Let's be honest, this is the main reason for coming on this monorail to get some really nice shots of the coaster. Beautiful. And all the way around here, all around the side. I do love the British seaside in Great Yarmouth. I put, I put it out there, I think this is probably my favourite seaside in the country actually. It is one of Yeah, like the beach is gorgeous and it's lovely. I should come and spend more time here really and I didn't get to visit here last year, uh, but I did the two years previously and before that it was a good seven or eight years, you know, since I last came as a kid. <laughs> Indoor section here, all 2D theming inside here. Talking of 2D theming, you've been on the revamped ride at Adventure Island, haven't you? Apparently I'm not going to like it. No. 2D theming. Too, too much 2D. Oh no, instead of physical set pieces. Have they actually removed some stuff then on that, have they? Or is they it just, have, but yeah. some of the stuff is still there, but it doesn't work. Yeah, I look they forward to it, giving it a go and see what it's like. Yeah. It's more of a family feel to what it is. Yeah, like more of a family place. attraction. That's a shame. Still got the sizzler down there. A few other flat rides as well. Quite a bit of space around here, still where they could put stuff. But at least they have invested in a few new rides. Like I say, last time we were here, you had the little SBF spinning coaster. We'll go on that later on, of course. That was new, and then you've got these couple of new flat rides for this year. I know I've said it in every vlog I've ever done from here, but imagine living in the houses over there, and just looking out and seeing monorails going around, log flume, the roller coaster. I suppose it just becomes second nature to those guys living there, but I wouldn't complain, I don't think, with a view looking at that every day. It is no. nice. You probably get a little bit fed up, I suppose, looking at the same thing. But I don't know, will we get fed up looking at a coaster? No. Probably not, no. Yeah, look at that, really nice seafront, it is gorgeous. Like I say, come down here for a couple of days and see it all. I wonder how much house prices are. Probably not that much, I don't know. Pretty seaside, probably not as much as we'd expect. Beautiful. Next up then, we're going on the ghost train. What, whose ghost train is it? My, My ghost, ghost train. train, yeah. No, no VR in this one, no Darren Brown. <laughs> it's got a nice facade though, this actually. You've got the, the skull and you've got his hands coming out of the side there, like skull and bones coming out. Let's go and give this a ride. Can't beat a good classic ghost train. It's not a bad ride, this. Work on it. Yeah, it does what it says on the tin. Haunted Hotel. Hello. You're right in there. Hello, Mr. Lee Wood. Okay, hold on, sir. Those changed this time. There we are. <laughs> Changes every time we film. What a classic. Really big shout out to the guy on the ghost train. He watches the channel. There we are. <laughs> he said he wanted to be in the video. 
Here we are. All UV style feeding in here. It's a bit of audio, doesn't it? That's it, yeah. Say it last time, but it lacks audio. It's good quality, like, UV though, isn't it? Like, the scenes are lit up now. We need to get Mr. Nick Hudson to do some theme park audio. Did you know that Nick does theme park audio? Huh? He does, yeah. <laughs> Does remind me of the ghost train at uh, Blackpool a little bit. So you get a good jump scare here on the right hand side. Blackpool. My God. Whee! I like how there's a few little drops on the inside of this ghost train. Though. Yeah. can't see where you're going at some point. Hey. There we go. Hey, there he is. Well, it reminds me of Vampire Station at Chesterton. See you later. Hey. Right next door then to the ghost train. Welcome to the fun house. Hey, more you being there. steps and ramps in it. Ooh. Oh my god, I can't even see where I'm going. That's it. Oh. It's a bit like a cake wall this is, isn't it? Love a good cake wall. We did some really good heritage rides when we went to Folly Farm the other week. So again, make sure you check that video out if you really enjoy your heritage fairground attractions. This last time. Oh my god. <laughs> it's actually really hard to stay still on here, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's you just move to What it. is he doing? <laughs> doing like a funny dance. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. All the magic stars on the wall. The magic of Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach. I like my magic stars. <laughs> Everyone likes magic stars. Got an indoor version of the one that we just had outside. Look at that, I mean. <laughs> Some of this stuff's so dodgy. It surprised me to get away with it in the days of health and safety now. That's why you've got to make the most of stuff like this. And in 20 years' time, when we're watching back videos like this and thinking, God, remember the days when you could go on stuff like this and actually have fun? Oh. <laughs> How do you reckon we can stay on this without coming off? <laughs> Try it with your eyes closed. Oh my god, that is really trippy, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that's it, we done. Yeah. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> oh my god, he just jumped over the whole thing. if it's a small world in here. I was just going to say, don't you think? When it starts off, it's like... Da, 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 da. <laughs> Love a good fun house. The one at Southport used to be amazing, that fun house in there. All the spinning discs on the floor. I like, I like the one at Winter Wonderland. Yeah, Winter Wonderland. Oh, hang on, lights have come on. Hey up. Got an e-stop going on here. 
Is he the car park attendant? I can't tell. Oh. She's fallen over. Got an e-stop. Lights on behind the scenes. Whee! Behind the scenes tour. Behind the scenes tour. Jump scare at the end. <laughs> Love it. Again, it's got a good facade, that one as well. All stuff here out the front. Three tokens for that one if you're not using the wristband system. Like I just say, though, definitely recommend getting a wristband if you're coming here. Well worth it. The sun is shining. A great arm of Pleasure Beach. She's having a lovely day so far. Really nice. Great to be back here again and see it all. I might even have a Mr. Whippy later on. Love a good Whippy. Oh, look at that. Oh, now you're talking. Right, we're going on the old flume. If you want a spare boat, we've got boat number six, which is just at the side here. Whack it on eBay, someone will buy it. I really wanted one of the old flume boats, actually, from Alton Towers, but yeah, my parents said no with that one. <laughs> Space in the garden. I've already got the bookworm from Storybook Land, Alton Towers. It's quite a unique view, actually, seeing all the wheels up on the bottom. Yeah, it's quite nice to see that. Something some people might not have seen before that. Obviously, it's quite rare to see a, a log flume out of the trough. That's what we're about to experience. Like I say, it's not a bad flume. It'd be even better if it had some theme in, but... It does make me wonder every time I see that. It was definitely designed, that structure, for some rocks or something. You can just tell, can't you, by all the... Yeah. Just everything. You've even got, like, the areas where it looks like stuff would be fastened onto it. I don't know, it's a shame. Who knows, maybe in the long term you might do something. Good thing about here, it might be summer holidays, and the park's relatively busy now, but the queues still aren't more than about five, ten minutes, which is not bad at all. You really do get your value for money. Here we go. It's going the You ready to get wet? Ready to get wet. Oh, yes, let's go. Off we go. Log flume time. Again, there's people standing at the side of the trough. It is funny. When you look at the fences and stuff, what I've done at the Merlin parks especially, and quite a few other theme parks, like you come to these ones and think, oh my God, there should be a fence. Well, I suppose that's just the world that we're living in these days. And in a way, it's quite sad because we should be able to trust people around rides. I mean, yeah. you know, uh, it's common sense, isn't it? Like, if you see a, a water ride like this, you don't climb into the water. So, you know, it's uh, this is a shame with how things are going, but obviously safety is always paramount and is the most important thing about these theme parks. So it's something we're going to see more of going forwards. Hey, up we go. Does the little globe still light up at night as well at the top? At the top? Yes, it looks nice. Yeah, I like little things like that. Time to get wet. <laughs> oh, I'm all right. I'm not too bad. Not too bad either. Not too bad. Saying that, there's only me and Danny in the boat, so not too bad. I think if you've got a full boat, what, five on this? Oh, boat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Full boat on here, you know, you probably get absolutely soaked. I don't there's five of us on uh, Logger's Leap. Oh, Logger's Leap. I mean, you've got to make the most of these flume rides because we were saying this earlier on, actually, off camera. They're a dying breed, aren't they, log oh, flumes? Yeah. You know, and I love a good log flume. I really do. And it's a shame. Whee! Especially in this country, they really are a dying breed. I mean, we've lost quite a few now. We lost the flume at Alton Towers. Logger's Leap looks like it's not going to be opening again. I mean, it's all overgrown and stuff. It takes some maintenance to get Logger's Leap back open again. Yeah, it's a shame they are just a dying breed, but hopefully uh, we might see some new flumes built. I mean, we've got over in Europe, we get loads. I mean, obviously, over in Ireland, Potato Park, they've had their new flume rides. Whee! Ah! Oh. Oh, there we go. And now I'm a bit wet. Oh, you even taste the salt like, oh. in the water there. Uh, we had a tailor park there at the Viking Voyage, what's opened. Obviously, Fantasia Land a few years back open in Chiapas. Um, so, there's definitely demand out there for water rides. And stuff like Chiapas, where you've got a proper restraint on it, uh, you know, you've not, no, got no chance of coming out of the boat. Um, yeah, we need to see more stuff like that really going forward instead of losing these flumes. Nice to see they've got the Ferris wheel here as well now. Get some nice views. Here we go. 
right, big finale. The big finish. Here we go. Oh. 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 <laughs> there oh, we go. Right. You still didn't get quite as wet on the last one as that. Oh. Well, maybe you did. I didn't get too bad. I got wetter on that second job, that tiny one. Everyone in the station. There we go. Good log flume though, that. You can just taste the, the salt water. Yeah, there, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh. It's just fun. Oh. All in my mouth. Oh. <laughs> all in all, though, not a bad flume, that at all. It's cooled me down a bit now, anyway. So we had a really good ride on the log flume. I came off and thought, the sun's shining. I'm going to get an ice cream. And went to the first Mr. Whippy stand, which is the one just there, outside the log flume, just at the side. And <laughs> yeah, literally, I bought this two minutes ago. It's not even that warm. It's what about 20 degrees, so it's not roasting. Nah, and not look, roasting. Danny's even worse. Look at that. For two pounds, that's a poor quality ice cream. Sean's food review today of the ice cream. Two out of ten. That's not good. That was bought two minutes ago, if that. That's ridiculous. I wish we'd gone somewhere else now. Oh well. <laughs> Danny says there's a nice one down the other end. What, uh, Danny Juryland is it? The, your one, yeah. Recommended uh, ice cream. Yeah, look at that. That's that's shocking. That is. But I'm gonna try and eat it. I'm just getting covered in ice cream now. Yeah, <laughs> not good, but a really nice view. Living where I do, right in the centre of the UK, seeing the beach and the sea is really nice, and you really appreciate coming to the seaside. Yes, it's good to get on the ride, but for me, living in the centre of the country, it's so nice to come and see the seaside as well. Let's hope that this ride on Mulan is not quite as disappointing as that ice cream. That was not good. <laughs> that was really bad. That's the same to Danny. That's the first time I'm not enjoying an ice cream. It's supposed to be a pleasurable experience, not, uh, you know, brain freeze all the time. All right, we're going on Mulan. Sorry, I'm going to whack into you in a bit. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'm flying. And up comes the barrier cover. Oh my god. Ah. Hey, that's it. Hey. Up comes the cover. Hey. Oh my god. Not quite as dark as the one that we did the other week at Folly Farm. And this one, it's see on your head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whee! The good fun rides, these. Moolah, another Disney film, another Disney classic. Ah! Is it hurting you yet? Yeah. It's hurting my knee. Ah. <laughs> I can't even pull myself over. There we go. Oh. Let's get it. Dude. Oh. Love it. Good ride, that. Quite a few flat rides to do at this park. And operations here are actually quite good. They didn't mess about getting the rides dispatched, which is good. Time for some flat rides. Then we just done Mulan. We're going on the park, Zampir, the disco. Hey. One of the older models of the ride because you've actually got the seat belts on this one. Just here. Same as what you got on the edge at Pulton's Park. Then you've also got like this little foot rest, which you don't get on the newer models. Whee. Soon pick up speeds though, these ones. The smaller ones. Then. Yeah, the small ones without the little hill in the middle. I was just saying though, it's a bit questionable on the positioning of some of these rides at this park. I mean, the fact that you've got the sea and the beach over there, why is position looking over at the road? I'm not too sure. Would have been nice if it the, took a bit of a step out of uh, Adventure Island's book and put it on some of the roofs, maybe looking over the sea. Oh, we're slowing down. Oh. There we go. Slowing down, speeding up. Long cycle. There we go. Whee! Yeah, you just seem to get a bit more kick to it. Yeah, it would have been nice if they put it on one of the roofs over there, looking over the sea. Whee! There we 
go. Not bad, that. I think there's better ones out there. I, I, I think the one at Adventure Island is a lot better. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I like the one at Adventure Island. Yeah. Hopefully, get a trip back in there at some point this year. I've got had that much going on this season so far. Might have to be a September trip. Hopefully, I can get one in at some point next month. <laughs> So then we're going on Family Star. Manufactured by Fabry, this one. It was relocated, here's the park in 2013. Yeah, you look at these Fabry spinning codes. Look at all that mechanism underneath. I mean, Danny used to work quite a bit, didn't he, on maintenance on rides and stuff. Yeah. And yeah, yeah this seems that that just looks overcomplicated to me. It's not. Is it not? No. Uh, no. You, uh, you understand all that, dear, what it's, it does. It's not, it's not complicated. It's maybe complicated for some people, but it's quite. Self-explanatory, really. Yeah, and the, I'm not too sure on it all. I mean, you look at that and you look at like the Marison spinning coasters. I suppose with Marisons, they maybe hide all the mechanism in the uh, like in the in the car itself, whereas these they have it on show. It makes a noise as well when it goes a little bit. They're very interesting noise. Just looks a little bit cheaper, I think, these Fabry ones. But they are cheap, aren't they, at the end of the day? It's quite weathered this is as well, I think, because of its location. Obviously the sea's only the other side behind there. Like you say, these rides take a battering, don't they, over the, uh, over do. the winter season? Up on the Norfolk coast, moving out. Yeah, 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 that's the thing. But we'll uh, give Family Star a go. I suppose check out these two new rides for 2017. The Dumbo is just here, the Flying Elephants. And then we've got the other, other spinning ride just down there. Get ready for the noise. Off we go, dispatch. Hey. Hey. So the key to getting a good spin on these is set on one side like we've done. So hopefully we get some good spin action. Oh! <laughs> yeah. You're feeling such an awkward position going up this lift hill, don't you? Here we are. Again, really nice views. There we go. Are we going to get anything? Here we go. Lean in. Ah, oh, that's it. That's not bad. There we go. That's it. Are we going to... Oh, we just hit the corner a bit wrong there, didn't we? That's it. Ah. Oh. Here we go. Lean. Whee! Ah. Oh. Uh, not bad. We're doing all right. Whee! It does make a difference when you lean. It does, doesn't it? Whoa! Oh my god! Oh! Ah! Yeah, not the best. Oh! Not the best ride in the world, are we? <laughs> yeah, like I say, manufactured by Fabry. They do some really good drop towers, but in terms of coasters, I'm not too sure. Oh! We go then on the Nuba 2017 Flying Dumbos here at Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach. We're going to see Danny pop out over there. There he is. Hey. The interesting thing about this is instead of having a button or a lever to press to lift Dumbo up and down, you actually got a foot pedal. It's actually better down the bottom. I'd rather have a foot pedal. Hey. Someone doing some whoop whoops down there. Hey. We've also got the pirates what spin round here as well. <laughs> He's doing the whooping. Is someone down there? Oh, it's that bloke down there. <laughs> doing the whooping. Get some good views from up here. Nice views out of the family star. Free fall over there. Of course, Sky Drop. It's probably the next one to do. Or the new ride. The other new spinning flat ride. It's good that they've put quite a few new rides in here over the past few years though. To be honest, you're quite high on these Dumbos as well. It's good. Whee! A bit of peer reaction going on over there. <laughs> I love it. Now, 
obviously I always go on about theming and audio and that sort of thing and all themed music. At a part like this, I do like how you've got like all the pop music and stuff playing. I think with these seaside amusement parks, it's kind of what it's all about, isn't it really? And I think it works. I wouldn't really want to see loads of extensive theming at these parks and themed audio. I do like how you're playing like the latest chart music and some classics as well. I mean, we have Reach on Just Rest Cup 7. I mean, yeah, you're not going to hear that at another theme park, are you? Love it. All the classic tunes come out of these seaside amusement parks. Yeah, really enjoyable. Nice. Just take your foot off the lever there to go back down. Time to try out the second new ride for 2017 then, reverse time. I'm not too sure what sensation we're going to get on this, really. I mean, you see the thing, yeah, some sort of Mexican hat sensation, maybe, yeah, but, maybe. Yeah. but we're facing outwards, aren't we, instead of inwards, so, yeah, this will be interesting. Like Danny just said, though, good to see they've gone with some new rides instead of second-hand stuff, you know, which is always good. I mean, it's got a bit of a theme, this, really, all the cogs and stuff on there, a bit of steampunk-style theming. Manufactured by SPF. This one, it's got the manufacturer on the side there. SPF are getting quite good at the moment, doing loads of new rides. And I know the new little spinning coast what they had a couple of years ago over there, uh, that's the same as well. So, yeah, they're obviously a trusted manufacturer for this park and hopefully they're getting some good deals from them. All right, let's go and give this a go. Right, off we go then on reverse time. Really not sure what sensation we're going to get on this. Oh, okay, kind of like a sizzler at the moment. A little bit floaty, actually. Oh, that's weird. Like a weird floaty, wants to be airtime, but it's not feel. Oh, there we go. Hey. Oh, it's quite a good fun actually, quite bouncy. Very smooth ride, very sort of, you know, you're not bashing your shoulders on the restraint. Even though it's over the shoulder restraints, you're not being bashed about. Gives you a bit of a tingly feeling in your feet. And now we slow down and we go around the other way. Very strange ride. Hmm. Now we turn round. Whee! That's got a bit more kick to it now. really pushes you out towards your restraint now going that way. Wasn't too bad the other way, but this way is a bit more uncomfortable. Ah. If you don't like spinning, this is not the ride for you. You're doing the same motion Spinning round. Yeah, very repetitive spinning. Because there's not a lot of movement in the actual vehicle, and you're just spinning in the same place. And then back to like a sizzler again. Can't say I'm a massive fan of that, to be honest. Doesn't really offer a lot. Yeah, not a big fan of that. The same sort of motion on that as well. It's even made me feel a bit dizzy and I don't normally get dizzy on these flats. Yeah, not a massive fan of that one. It wouldn't be a visit to Great Yarmouth Flash Beach without a ride on the horses. Here we go, there's Danny down there. Giddy up, giddy up. That's it, give him a whip. 
Get him going round. <laughs> That's it, get whipping your horse, come on. Hey. Some nicely frosty mowed grass in the middle here, actually. Presentation wise, isn't too bad at this part. At least there's not stickers everywhere, like down at Joyland. No! <laughs> that was a bad horse impression, wasn't it? That's a bit of an old ride vehicle there at the side. It's definitely not a full bay park here. I think, uh, you know, in terms of doing all the rides here, you're talking maybe four or five hours to do everything instead of a full day. You won't want to spend from 11 in the morning when it opens till nine at night at this part. Hey, hey. <laughs> we're having a good day so far, really enjoying it. Then we're gonna have a little stroll down to Great Yarmouth, come back up later on and get some more night rides. Hey. <laughs> oh, it's all good fun. Best ride of the day. Hey. Get a bit of a sudden stop, I think. I had one whack into me before we started off around there. There we go. And everybody off. So since the last boat to you, done a couple more rides. We went on the roller coaster. Had a bit of a sit down after the last spinning flat ride we went on. Not gonna lie, I wasn't a big fan of that. No, uh, yeah, I like did not like that. I sat down in a bit of water. Whee! We're on another spinning ride now on the little spinning coaster. Another SPF. To be honest, this isn't too bad. Not a bad little ride. Nice views of the houses. Hey. Yeah, we've had a really airtime filled ride on roller coaster. Probably one of the best rides I've ever had on it, that was just. On the back row. Yeah, was, that was really good. Flying out the seat there, it was crazy on the back row. in the next row, I think. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Not a bad little junior coaster, simple figure of eight layout. Whee. It's gone a little bit overcast now, actually. A little bit cooler than it was earlier on. It's probably going to be quite cool for some night rides later on. Can't wait to get on roller coaster in the dark. It's been a while. Whee. God, how many laps did we get on this? Uh, I forgot how many laps we got. Last time I went on this was was we doing? Yeah. Whee. And it seems a lot better, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah, it's running quite well. Spin time. God, how many laps are they going to give us? You get your money's worth with this one. Oh my god. Oh, and that's it. <laughs> Still makes me laugh how it goes up the lift hill to like use that as the brakes. Use the tyres just here to slow it down. There we go. Whee! So I've had a little walk down on the seafront here in Great Yarmouth. Enjoyed the sunshine while it lasted. And as I mentioned earlier on, uh, when we were having that awful ice cream, God, I did not enjoy that. It was awful, wasn't it? So bad. Um, as I mentioned earlier on, it's so nice for us Midlanders to be able to appreciate the seaside and just walk down on the beach. And so I had a little stroll down, had a walk on one of the piers, went to like a penny arcade. Uh, other than the Pleasure Beach, there's lots of other stuff to do here. Obviously, you've got Joyland that we did a video on to check that out. Uh, but there's also a circus, there's arcades, there's the model village, there's numerous uh, like bowling alleys and crazy golf courses. There's so much to do all on the seafront here in Great Yarmouth. It's well worth checking out. Uh, so it's been a couple of hours. We've just come back on a few more rides. We had a four run stint on the uh, roller coaster just there. That was great. Walk on queue at the moment. Not bad at all, was it? Uh, yeah, really nice. And it's starting to get dark. There's about an hour and a half left of ride time. And look how quiet the park is now. It's uh, it's crazy, isn't it? But they're still open until nine o'clock. It just goes to show, if the demand for nine o'clock openings in the UK, I'll let you guys be the decider for that one. Uh, but I'm not complaining either way, because we're going to get to ride that beast uh, as it's getting dark, which you can't wait for. Um, yeah, only just before nine o'clock. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've done that in the dark. Uh, there's a couple more rides that we need to do. We're going to go on Sky Drop now. So I'll take you along for the ride, and hopefully we'll get some uh, nice views from up there. Beautiful.
Off we go on Skydrop. Wee. Whoa. Oi, you got some good force when it gets to the bottom. Oh. Up we go again. Yeah, it is. Yeah, a lot better than the one at Adventure Island. And wee. <laughs> I was just saying to Danny, though, off camera, it just seems strange how you're actually facing the houses. Why can't I be facing the beach and the sea? But hey ho. Nice view there all down the seafront here at Great Yarmouth. Got all the uh, lights on the lamppost down there, which is quite nice as well. The own version of Blackpool Illuminations. <laughs> you got the lights all starting to come in on the rides now as well. Oi! Whoa! It's a good feeling that is, isn't it? Whoa. Reverse time. That I was going to say, yeah. You got in before me there. That's not a good feeling. I didn't enjoy reverse time that much at all. I think I'm, not, I'm normally fine with these flat rides, but with it being a, the same sort of motion and with it being quite a long cycle as well, yeah, it just didn't agree with me, that one. I enjoyed Skydrop, though. Like you say, definitely better than the one over at Adventure Island in South End. Off we go on the dodgers. It's nice to be at a park where dodgems are included. There is some parks such as Adventure Island where you have to pay extra. Quite good fast dodgems actually. On now, around, around, don't stop moving. Move that last up, We had reach for the stars earlier on. Ah, oh, where is he? Here's Danny. Let's go and get him. <laughs> Off we go on Twister. Just me and Danny, we got an exclusive ride on this one. Oh, there he is. Wee. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> it's gone really quiet now at Pleasure Beach. Not in Blackpool. Just to clarify. Way! 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 I was saying, let's sit in separate seats so we get a bit of interaction. We're sat in the perfect seats. Way! <laughs> Way! <laughs> Love it. Gonna get our last couple of rides and I'll take you on board for a nighttime ride on the roller coaster here at Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach. Make sure you also follow us on our social media channels, because earlier on I did a live video on Roller Coaster. So if you follow us on Instagram, just search Theme Park Worldwide, on Twitter at Theme Park WW, and of course on Facebook, just search Theme Park Worldwide for regular live updates and now also live videos as well. We'll see you on the roller coaster for our last ride of the day. Whee! <laughs> Last 
ride of the day on the Great Yarmouth Roller Coaster and we're on the back row. Yay. Yay. We had an awesome back row ride earlier on, filled with airtime. Some of the most airtime I've ever had on a coaster. I was literally flying out my seat earlier on. It was crazy. Look how dark it is around here. You can probably see nothing on the camera at the moment. There's something really special about looking up at wooden roller coasters in the dark and seeing all the structure. As we make our way up the lift hill. Beautiful. It's weird thinking that in a few weeks time, I'll be over there in Sweden, riding on wildfire, an ultra modern wooden roller coaster or a hybrid technically by Rocky Mountain Construction. And look at this at night. It's been so long since I've rode this at night. Lovely to see it. There's something so special about riding these rides in the dark. Look at that. Here we go. Way <laughs> On the back row. It's a back row beauty. Arms in the air there in front. Hey. As everybody's trying to go to sleep in the houses down there, we're riding this coaster. <laughs> Probably the best view of the ride there. Great Yarmouth in the distance. And here we go, best drop on the ride. Mega air time, here we go. <laughs> you notice a real difference being on the back rows than being at the front. Look at that, stunning. Again, another fantastic view there of the coaster. Beautiful. Another mega as I mill. This is the one. I'm holding on. Oh. And for a second time. If you don't hold on there, it is crazy how much ejector you get. I'll make sure I hold on. Yeah, I do. I was nearly out the train earlier. This is a really good fun drop on the ride. Beautiful. To see all the red lights from the wind turbines out there in the ocean. Last couple of drops on the ride. What a beauty, what a classic ride. And I've said it numerous times, but you've got to appreciate the rides like this for the rides of today and the new modern rides that get built across the world. If it wasn't for classic coaches such as this, then we wouldn't have some of the most amazing rides that we do today. So end our day here at Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach. We'll head off the ride and summarise our day here at the park. Beautiful. What a park and what a classic wooden coaster. Beautiful. So we've had a really good day today in Great Yarmouth. Of course, we went to Joyland earlier on and check out the separate vlog from that. Of course, we've ended our day here at Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach. Done quite a few rides today, actually, all afternoon. It's been really good to get back on board roller coaster. Uh, a classic ride, it's really nice to get on it. And like I said, just on that last ride of the day, uh, it's roller coasters like that that you've got to thank uh, for the rides of today, really, and all the modern roller coasters that get built. Obviously, Danny's been here as well. You had a good day? Yeah, I've had a brilliant day. A bit what's, tired. What's, yeah, now, but... what's been your highlight? Have you got uh, roller coaster in the dark. Roller coaster in the dark. Yeah, it's uh, it's well worth it. Like I say, it's a bit of a trek from up where we are. Obviously, up in the Midlands, it's a good four-hour run down here. Uh, whether that's by driving or public transport, it's a long way. So you've got to make it worthwhile. Uh, we've had 13 rides today on roller coaster, which is good, including a good four or five in the dark just tonight. So it's been really good. Thank you very much for watching. Tomorrow I'll be doing a vlog from Pleasurewood Hills, which is just in Lowestoft, which isn't that far away. Uh, so make sure you check out the video. Thanks for watching another vlog here on Theme Park Worldwide and it's always good to see you Danny. Yeah, see you see again soon. Tomorrow. Yeah, oh there we go. Thank you very much for watching and that means it's time to cue those credits. Bye guys.
Thank you.